Hey there Creative Mind, welcome back to our channel. Today we're diving into an innovative AI powered tool called Airbrush AI Image Generator. As always, we are dedicated to bringing you honest reviews and exploring tools that can take your creativity to new heights. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any of our upcoming content. Now let's jump right into the world of Airbrush AI. All right guys, so here is Airbrush AI. Now we are gonna check out its pricings. But wait, before you go, sign up to get 20 AI images and unlimited access to public gallery per month for free. All right, so as you can see, we are gonna get free sign up. Let's go ahead and sign up and your best email. All right, so uh, get Airbrush for free. All right guys, so it's uh, diverting us to the registration page, but we are not registering. We're gonna check out the pricings first. So here we go. Let's go to the pricings and here we are. The free plan is uh, $0 per month, which we are getting 20 credit image credits. Uh, image upscaling is available, blog article cover, image to text converter, image history, and public gallery. All right, then we have the premium plan, which will cost us $9 per month, uh, 500 image credit, image upscaling, blog article cover, image to text converter, and everything else is available just as the previous. So here, uh, oh, we can also use it with Android and we can get it on Google Play. Let's check out the application and download the best images. All right, so now we have lots of AI images here, as you can see. So we are gonna have to sign up. But first up, we are gonna check out lifetime deal available for Airbrush. Stay tuned, and here is Airbrush for Android. You can just download and use it to generate images in your smartphone too. Now let's go ahead and check for Airbrush lifetime deal. Here we go, and uh, Airbrush lifetime deal. All right, let's go to the first page. Then we have Deal Mango, then we have Lifetimeo, the, we have Digital Launchpad, and then we also have AppSumo. So let's check out all these things. Uh, here is the lifetime deal. The one-time lifetime deal offer gets started for free. Take your visual content creation to the next level. Uh, well, it looks like that the, it started for free. All right, so I don't, I don't see any pricing here, guys. So I'm just gonna close this page out. And this page is 402 for vid and it's not working. So let's close out this window too. Then we have Lifetimeo, okay? So Lifetimeo uh, updated three months ago, uh, Airbrush Lifetime Deal. All right, let's go ahead and get access. Where are the pricings? Oh, here is the pricing, only $29. Okay, lifetime access to this deal for only $29. And we have 60 days money back guarantee, which is pretty cool and uh, well, a lifetime is redirecting us to AppSumo's page, so we're just gonna close both of them and keep AppSumo here. And we have Digital Launchpad, which is also offering $29, uh, which we are gonna save 73%, $79 we are saving. The actual value is $108, uh, it's what they claim. All right, let's scroll a bit and see what else they're offering. Four problems, one solution. The following are four primary issues that Airbrush can help you with. Okay, spend less, uh, use whatever, wherever you need. Okay, professional, very simple to use. All right, so we can just buy now by clicking here. It's gonna cost us $29. All right, guys, so we are gonna go on and check out AppSumo's deal now. It's $29 here too, 73% saving, 108 actual price. We can buy up to three codes. All right, so let's go ahead and see what the code does. So here's the overview. We can generate art in one click, image to text. All right, image upscaler. Includes AI powered sharpening and detail enhancement. We're gonna check all of them very soon. Then we have search gallery and we have plans and features. So so as you can see, we're gonna have 60 days money back guarantee. So after purchasing, if you don't feel like it's doing any good for you in two months, then you can just return it and get your refund. No problem. So here we have plan one, which is gonna cost us $29. And we are gonna get 500 image credits per month. So, and in plan two, we are gonna get 1,000 image credits per month. And on plan three, we are gonna get 1,500 image credits per month. And the rest of the features are staying same here. Only the difference is 500 
1000 and 1500 image credits per month so you can stack up to three codes if you need much more image credits you need to generate so much more images then you should purchase the three code version so guys now we are going to go ahead and sign up in uh, airbrush ai so we're going to click join now on the top right corner of the website we're going to insert our name we're going to insert our email address then we are going to enter a password and then we are going to sign up all right guys so we are now in airbrush ai's dashboard so first let's take a quick overview of airbrush you can uh, select dark mode for airbrush which is pretty cool most of the people enjoy using dark mode on the profiles we have uh, our name we have create image and we have 15 credit or i think we were we were promised 20 credits but we have only 15 that's a bummer uh, we have create image well dashboard is where we are let's explore the dashboard a little and here is the entire dashboard okay we are going to check out all of these soon so after dashboard we have create image then we have history where our created images will be stored then we have search gallery where we don't need to create images we can just search for uh, images of other people who have created and then we have image upscaler which will upscale the image for using ai tools we have upgrade account plan then we can just sign out all right so let's start exploring deeper first we have a uh, create image and search gallery and as you can see we have create image here and search gallery here upscaling all right it's just all of these uh, here create block cover beta it's in beta image variations image to text all right so let's start off with creating image let's open it and since we have limited amount of credits then we are going to use the small version to consume less credits okay then we have ai engines stable diffusion dolly 2 we have mid journey version 4 and as you can see we can uh, use dolly to create more images and extra large whoa so we can we can also use extra large which is going to cost us more as you can see so mid journey ai all right we're going to use small okay anything version 5 wefu diffusion uh, red redshift diffusion then we have analog diffusion then we have protogen x 3.4 after that we have realistic version 1.3 so first of all we are going to start with mid journey because it's a popular ai i mean image drawing ai so let's go ahead and search for something lion chasing a deer let's see what mid journey brings us up all right that does not look anything like lion chasing a deer guys so i'm pretty sure that they can do better we're going to create another image and we have advanced settings here speed native prompt guidance okay seed okay seed negative prompt and guidance now these are nothing nothing that i'm expecting to them to draw so uh, i think mid journey is not doing good job we're going to try out different things like stable diffusion now that's also not good enough we're gonna create another one well maybe the because i have selected small it's unable to view us let's go ahead and select large image now creating image okay so here we got something well at least something we got here a lion is just standing in front of a deer but the lion looks too much big so let's see how many credits we have we're gonna refresh this page and check out how many credits do we have we have 12 credits guys so we're gonna try lion chasing a deer you know insert a lion chasing a deer okay now we're gonna select mid journey ai large image now we're gonna create all right there, there's no deer in this image guys i'm pretty sure that you can't see any deer either now let's go ahead and create again well these tools seem to be uh, not working quite well and when i select small image it's not working at all i think so in large image it's doing somewhat job maybe it will do a better job with extra large images but we are saving our credits for something more special all right guys so a lion chasing a deer it's not working with mid journey ai so we're going to try dali 2 which is going to consume us nine credits and uh, most of our credits will be gone after we do that so let's go ahead and create an image using dali 2 
So here we go guys, Dali have created an image that we were expecting and as you can see it has created an image that a lion is chasing a deer. So the only reliable tool here is Dali for creating image AI yeah, images. So hats off to Dali and the others are not so much. I mean stable diffusion and mid journey we have tried but we were unable to try the others but I'm pretty sure since they are consuming the same amount of credits they might not uh, get the same results. So we are going to try something a realistic vision version 1.3. Let's go ahead and check this one out and then we will be clear that how others are working. So if this one is a failure then i'm pretty sure that others are going to be the same because they're consuming the same amount of credit uh, rather than dali and here we go as you can see there is no deer only the line so dali has much more brains than all of these tools so if you want to create something use much more credits and use dali now let's go ahead go to history and we're going to find all of the images that we have created a lion chasing a deer so these are all the images that we have created and not only these we can use the search gallery as you can see a lion chasing a deer and let's see the search gallery as you can see here this is a, a deer that looks like it i mean a painted like a tiger and it's uh, uh, going in front of a deer there are dogs chasing each other all right there there is more dog there are more dogs here and there's another dog here uh, and there are three deers here no lions Alright, so if you want something very specific, then you might not get it. That's just like um, searching for a lion chasing a deer, that and that's not uh, popping up really well. And as you can see, this image is looking pretty well. I'm pretty sure that Dali made this image. And here we have another one, painting of a roaring lion and a mouse. Uh, so uh, this should be a mouse. I don't think this is a mouse, guys. So there are lots of things that... AI is painting and lots of irrelevant paintings too, okay? All right guys, so now we're gonna search something easy. Let's go ahead and search for the Eiffel Tower. And as well, this does not look like an Eiffel Tower. Okay, so this is an Eiffel Tower made with Lego. Okay, that's, that's good, that's good. Then we have architectural design studies for of Eiffel Tower. Okay, that's good too. Then we have Eiffel Tower drawn like Stray Knight. And then we have underwater photo of the Eiffel Tower dark ocean uh, so this is an underwater photo yeah this might be an underwater photo okay so as you can see we have lots of photos of Eiffel Tower here and this is supposed to be Eiffel Tower in demolition simulator in-game screenshot okay so that works too as you can see guys if you have if you search for something easy then the search gallery will be able to provide you too if you want something complex then there is no other way without using dali so make sure to use dali when you're searching for something complex please enter the url of the image so we can upscale an image but we're gonna have to insert the url of the image now let's try and upscale an image so we're gonna upscale an image of the Eiffel tower again all right, guys, the links are not working here. So we are going to refresh the page and then we are going to copy another one from Pixels this time. And we're going to insert the URL here and submit it. Let's see if it works now. All right, guys, so as you can see, the image upscaling is not working. It's taking quite a lot of time, but it should have been upscaled by now. So I'm going to I'm just guessing that the upscaling is in beta mode right now, so it might not work. So while purchasing, you have to keep it in mind that the upscaling image might not work while you are testing out the software. So now let's go ahead and check out the other features. After upscaling, we have create block cover. So we are going to open it in new tab. Then we have image variations, opening it new tab, and then image to text. We have also quick tutorials and check these tutorials to help you get started using Airbrush. We are not going to check quick tutorials. We have prompt templates, okay. Uh, premium, uh, okay. So in order to get prompt templates access, we are going to need to update our account. So we are not going to prompt template. Okay, then we have earn free credits, earn um, extra monthly credits by sharing your views and love. Well, that's a good thing. And we can share our feedbacks. And here are our recently generated images, which we can also access by going to history. As you can see, so we're going to close our tab now. Then we have create blog cover. So we are going to place our blog link here, appandbox.com. Okay, let's submit. Okay, now since it's generating the image, we're going to explore the other things that are here. Image variations. URL of initial image should be in PNG format. 
Uh, is this one in PNG format? Well, uh, no, it's in W uh, WebP file. So we're gonna need a PNG image in order to start this. Okay, please enter the description of the image. URL of the initial image, your prompt, AI engine, image dimensions, and the generation will consume one credit. So let the AI generate variations for your image. So the AI will generate variations for our image. We are gonna have to uh, insert a link of the PNG format image. Then we are gonna have to prompt what we want to change about the image. Then we are gonna use the AI engine to uh, create the image with some extra variations. All right, so that's it for here. All right, so here we have generate prompt for any image. So we're gonna paste the URL of the image and then we are gonna get prompt for the image as we need. So we are gonna close this window as well and we are gonna wait for our blog, well, blog cover preview. Well, it's also in beta, so this might not work. As you can see, it's previewing for a longer time. So we are just gonna wait one more minute and if it doesn't work, then we're gonna just assume, we're just gonna assume that it doesn't work either. So without all these things, then I think it is great for generating images. If you are using Dali to generate image, then you can absolutely use this software. And if you get the lifetime deal, then I think it's gonna be a win-win, fair you win-win. So, well, this is not working, guys. So if you want airbrush to create images using all the ai platforms in a single place then well then airbrush is your tool like if you don't have time to go to dali stable diffusion mid journey all of their web pages and you can get all of them in a single page with a single prompt then you can use airbrush and airbrush's lifetime deal is going on on app sumo we're gonna place the link down below in the description please do check that out if you want to purchase and now let's go ahead and check out our blog cover. Well, the blog cover, it's still loading. So um, I'm just assuming that it might not work, but still you guys can check it with more time. We are already checking it for five minutes and if it doesn't work in five minutes, it just might not work. So if this doesn't work, then we are gonna be able to use Airbrush only to create images. And if you want to create images for from all these platforms, then Airbrush is a good tool. So guys, thank you for joining us today as we explored Airbrush AI Image Generator. If you are interested in trying out this powerful AI tool, you can find the link in the video description below. If you enjoyed this review, give it a thumbs up and share it with your fellow creators. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so you never miss our latest content. If you've used Airbrush AI before or have any questions, share your thoughts in the comments below. We would love to hear from you.